Hello, hello, world. My name is Ashley Collins, aka The Aunt of Dragons. Welcome to my YouTube channel, The Breakup Diaries. You guys have no idea how many times I've started and reshot this, but we're just gonna go through. We're gonna plow through. Even if I stutter and stammer, we're gonna keep on going. So, um, I know what you're thinking. You're having a very, very hard time creating content because you run out of ideas. So, where do I get my ideas from when I'm creating content? So let me show you a little sun sign. This is my planner from 2020. I like how, I like that it's used. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you get a planner and you're like, uh, as you can see, there were months where I, that I didn't write in it. This is when I was dating that guy. But um, <laughs> once I start getting back into creating content, I um, wrote down ideas. You, can you see it? So these two pages are ideas that I haven't even touched yet there there some of them are check marked but most of them are not where do i get my ideas from i don't know if this is good i i don't know if this is good advice or not so take my advice with a little grain of salt i ask myself what's bothering me every morning i know that you should have a content schedule my content schedule in general is i'm gonna post today you know i know that after i do an interview because i um I've been doing interviews with different guests from different backgrounds, artists, um, um, scientists, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, um, producers, content creators. Um, I know that for that day, I'm going to post that content. But when I don't have anyone on my show, I always ask myself, "What's bothering you? What do you need to get off of your chest? What do you need to learn that day?" And another thing that I ask myself is, "How am I wrong?" Something that I'm thinking about. Something that's 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 been on my chest, something that's really like really disturbing me. How am I wrong? I like to contradict myself. And I think that it's kind of, I like it because it's, I'm still slowly educating myself and I don't have to pay to educate myself, you know? <laughs> um, okay, so when it comes to creating content, you have to ask yourself, what result do you want? Do you just want to go viral? And I think that's such a weird thing that everyone just wants to get as many likes and views as possible, which is the goal. Yeah, of course. Like, of course you want tons of people to look at your work, but you want them to keep coming back. Like, you're, you're not keeping that in mind. You want them to keep coming back again and again and again because your content is that great, you know? You don't want to be a one-hit wonder because, like, I don't know. Like, I remember... Does anyone remember VH1? And, um how they went behind the scenes of some of these people's lives. And there was something always very sad about the one hit wonders. Something where they were like, they were kind of unfulfilled, you know? And I also think it's kind of weird how like, we get discouraged when our videos don't get a, a lot of likes or follows because it's like, it's very selfish because this isn't the Truman Show. Everyone is not. <laughs> everyone is not here to just be entertained by you, you know. So I encourage you if you're struggling to create content, why don't you just have fun? Something that's really, really, really been bugging me. <laughs> as, as well as many, many other things going on right now in, in um, January 2021 is we're not allowed to have nice things. The internet was created, social media was created to connect people, right? You can talk to someone in Australia, you could talk to a loved one who's bedridden, you know? And then we, we got our, a hold of it and we ruined it. And... Uh, I remember once I went out to um, went out for drinks with my cousin um, when I was living in the same city. I was living living in another city, and she came to visit. And we were sitting down, and she was talking about how like dangerous Trump is. And I, was, I was like, he's not dangerous because he's just a man, you know. <laughs> like how how can one man cause so much chaos? And like we spent the past four years fighting with each other and yelling at each other over one fucking man, and it's so sad. And of course, of course, this is the result. Of course, this is the buildup. But we, none of us is taking responsibility for it. That is our fucking fault. No one told you to argue with that random person on Twitter. You did it. You responded. Trump didn't do that. You did. So, like, we're letting each other down. There is a, a, a population of people who feel unheard. And they feel like Trump is their savior. And instead of wanting to help them, we, we continue to ostracize them. And none of us is taking accountability. This is not the direction I was trying to go take with this. <laughs> 
not the direction at all. <sighs> Have fun with this. But also take accountability and responsibility that this thing has the potential to either help someone, to provide them with a little giggle, and this is why I love TikTok. I think TikTok is the most fun thing in the world, especially since the fact that no one's saying, hit that like button, hit that that follow, da -da -da -da. everyone's just having a silly goose time. Everyone's just being silly. Why can't we just create content and be silly with each other, you know? And of course, you know, bringing awareness to, to certain things that we may be ob oblivious to. Of course, obviously. But other than that, why don't we just have fun? Why don't we just ignore the... I've been ignoring like crazy the... I mean, I've never really been very big on like checking on like with my, my stats and stuff. I don't look at who liked. I don't like look at the views. I just post and ghost. Probably a bad idea. Probably a bad social media strategy. But... Hmm... My end game is my my long my long I'm 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 in it for the infinite game. I'm in it for the long haul. You know? You see my deodorant? Oh, that's so gross. Uh, well, at least I'm wearing deodorant. What? That's not gross. Whatever. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Um we also have to keep in mind, because I was I was looking at the news today. I know you shouldn't look at the news, but I was looking at the news today and I found myself getting a little agitated. But then I was like, you know what? They're just doing their job. Everyone's just doing their job. They're just provided with the information that people, <laughs> that people unfortunately are consuming. That's what they want to hear. They want to hear that things are falling apart. I'll provide you with that information. Everyone is just doing their job and you can't. <sighs> a friend of mine, I, I met a new friend recently and something that they said to me was, of course, you know, consume read listen podcast etc etc but don't forget to think for yourself and don't be afraid to think in contradictions like i said how am i wrong with what the, with the with the way that i'm thinking um 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 last thing i found this um this philosophy page talking about um philosophers throughout history and I can't think of the page right now. Oh, I'm so sorry. But um, there was this one philosopher, Diogenes, and he was wild, y'all. He just like he did not want to follow the social contract of society, right? He's like, I don't, I choose not to, you know. <laughs> I oh my god, there's this one story where um, I think he was wearing shoes, and he was like, I'm too full of myself. I shouldn't be. I I don't need shoes. And something that he said was, get out of my sunlight. What does that mean? I think it's, it, he was talking to Alexander the Great and he said to him, get out, of, get out of my sunlight. What he meant was, enlighten me. So when we're acting, interacting with people online or in real life, maybe that person's going to share something with you that's going to enlighten you. Did you ever think about that? Don't be too full of yourself where you can't, you know, we stop learning and don't feel too much pressure to like post 20 times a day you don't have to once a day is fine like I said think of the long game okay think long term okay don't feel so much pressure it's it's not that deep it's really really not that deep okay that's it ciao goodbye I'm um, sorry about that little rant sorry that my hair's a little wild we're gonna figure this out okay I hope that you're doing okay. A friend of mine, their coworker just took their life and they were only 20 years old. Only 20. I don't know about you, but I'm looking forward to getting gray hair. I think I'm gonna mm, look so good with gray hair. Don't you wanna see what you're gonna look like with gray hair? Think about that, okay? Okay. Keep your hands off of your life. It doesn't belong to you. Bye.